Hi, welcome back. Okay, today what we're going to do is the modules that I was showing you the other day, we're going to take and clean them. And I'll swing the camera around again and I'll show you the procedure we've got to go through. Um, there's uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten modules here and uh, wiring arms. A couple of them don't have wiring arms because they're uh, comm modules. And I'll show you the whole procedure that has to be done. And this is something we do for any module that comes in that is on inspection is not clean. So, uh, like I say, I'll just swing around. Uh, we'll show you what we do next. We'll right back. And we're back. Okay, so as you can see, here's the wiring arms. Uh, just a screwdriver for working on them. And we zoom in a bit. And as you can see... Um, those are not wiring arms in that condition that you as a customer would want to get. And we'll take uh, is this one. This is a OB32. Oop, turn it over. Oh, it's easier to read. So, what we're going to do, as you can sort of see inside, which you'll see better here in a minute, is uh, we're going to pull the module apart. And then, seeing as we're in the inside at the test bench, we're going to go to the uh, other other bench where we can do cleaning in a ventilated area. So, uh, just got to get some screwdrivers and stuff, and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. So, what? because we've got multiple modules, and we're going to be pulling everything apart, we have to put everything into its own pile so because every one of the labels on the side is got a serial number but it's also got the ASA number now that ASA number is unique to that card so we take that off and let's see if you can see better here okay this one is still isn't too bad but it's still going to take some cleaning and to get the back of the board off if you're going to clean it you've got to clean both sides you just can't clean one you have to undo the screw and hold on to this nut at the same time because otherwise it's not going to come apart and if you look really closely on it on the screws you can see that there is blue Let's see how easy it is to see here there we go Is uh, hard to see, but there's blue Loctite on it, and that's right from the manufacturer, Alan Bradley. Okay, that comes off. That comes out, and then this sometimes be a little difficult because it's kind of keyed in on both sides you have to kind of work it off there we go and there we go so we look at this side and again from a cursory point of view it's not that bad but this side it's filthy we don't know what that where that dirt comes from this all needs to be washed off. So what I've got to do now, and this is module number one, mark that on there, is I'm going to disassemble the rest of the modules. And when we come back, which is this pile right in here, and when I come back, we'll be at the uh, external workbench where we've got good ventilation to work, because we're going to be working with isopropyl alcohol to clean 
the dirt off of the modules and we're going to be using a good quality stainless brush or uh, paintbrush that's got very fine bristles and if necessary an old toothbrush. So there we go and uh, we'll be back later or in a bit. Okay, hi and welcome back. We're back into it. Now we're into our ventilated area where we can use our cleaner and I'm going to show you how I'm cleaning these up and I'm going to put all of the uh, waste, which is the, the dirt, into a single bucket. There's a total of seven modules that I'm going to do today uh, for cleaning rather than doing the ones that don't uh, won't sell anyhow. So we'll just get uh, set up here on a different angle and be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, um, let's bend down here. As you can see, I'm wearing safety glasses. I have a container for my uh, waste. I have plastic gloves on because isopropyl alcohol will dry your skin out really fast. So, we'll start out with this module mark number one. Let me tag out of the way. And we'll just do the one here on video and we'll do them all and uh, come back at the end. So, this one's got some dirt in it. We want to take the nice thing about isopropyl is it cleans everything and does not leave a residue. It also will give a uh, clean surface and uh, if there's any uh, Anything on there that shouldn't be, it'll uh, kill off any germs, which, you know, shouldn't be a concern, but sometimes is. Take air check and blow it off. And get this here to protect Inspection. It's hard, I don't know, it's probably pretty hard to see there. Yeah, it is with that light. Um, they didn't, that really didn't come clean on the top of those uh, little, uh, I, uh, little DC relay outputs. Not DC outputs, but uh, DC triax, I believe. better. Now this is clean because the dust, you know, sitting in a chassis, the dirt was coming down this way. Now it's clean. Give it a quick wipe. And this is, once the covers are back on, it's ready to be uh, tested and sold to a customer. Um, these covers here sometimes pop out a little bit, so it's a matter of just getting everything lined back up. It's a problem with this cheaper plastic that Alan Bradley uses now is uh, they don't expect you to do anything with them. So after this is all clean, we'll, I'll be back, show you all of the clean modules ready to reassemble. 